let's get into this dupe to the Saint Laurent satin gown floor style skirt. Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling for tall women. I have been wanting this satin skirt for the longest. As a tall girl, I typically like to Google things that I want to wear or I've seen a picture somewhere but nine times out of ten I'm like hey I want a skirt this color floor length right or like gown length. I did a quick Google search and the Saint Laurent one came up. I am gonna pop in a picture of that. That skirt is beautiful. It's a silk, it's a 100% silk skirt. It's like a copper color. And I'm just like, 3,000, in my head, $3,000 is insane <laughs> for a skirt like that. Now granted, you can wear the skirt multiple ways. Um, However, I just don't think it's a really good cost per wear. So, and I'm just not going to spend over $3,000 on a skirt like that. It's a classic skirt, but I don't think it's worth the money. So, your girl went to Googling and she found this amazing skirt by Norma Kamali. It's pretty much close in color, close in length. You guys know I'm six feet tall, so it is gonna look different on me as opposed to the model. This one is saying satin, but when you read the description, it does, when you go into the details, it does say polyester. I wanted to get into that really quick before I actually pop in a picture of the dupe to the Saint Laurent skirt. When you are shopping for anything, regardless of if it's a trend or not, you wanna always make sure that you're getting what you actually paid for. If someone is displaying something or showcasing something as satin, go into those details because you'd be surprised how many of these designers are using like fabrics that are mixed with it. So it's not 100% satin. That's the first thing. This skirt is absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it. I did get a size large and it's kind of like a fishtail gown style skirt to match the one from Saint Laurent. Now, if you are the girly who wants to spend the over 3,000 on the Saint Laurent skirt, go ahead, child. I just don't think that it's worth the money um, I don't know, it's just my opinion because there's a ton of satin skirts that you can get, like actual satin skirts, and don't have to spend that. Now, theirs is 100% silk, so probably that's probably why, but I still don't think it's worth it. But this Norma Kamali skirt is awesome. I am gonna pop in a video with me with it on. Remember, I am six feet tall, and the skirt is, they don't put the length of the skirt. So I'm gonna show you for reference how it looks at my feet. I'm gonna have on just probably no shoes or something in the video so you can see it but I absolutely love the quality of it even though it is polyester inside of it does have like a material like a slight I think that's what the the name that's inside of the description is on the inside this skirt was like a fraction of the cost like not even and it's a still a really nice skirt. However, some women may still feel like it's still a little pricey for a satin skirt. Now, the one from Norma Kamali is $255. I ended up getting two skirts from them, but the other one is actually on pre-order. That one is like super cute. So I'm waiting for that one to come in October. But this one was ready to ship and I absolutely love it. So the the skirt, I definitely can wear it with shoes, boots. Moto boots, chunky boots, sneakers, leather jackets, all of those things. So I am gonna wear this multiple ways when I do really get to style it. But the goal of this video is to show you guys that you don't necessarily have to always go ahead and buy the higher end brand if you feel like you may not wear the item. This is kind of like a dupe for it because Norma Kamali is still not very cheap to some, but it is, a lot cheaper than the Saint Laurent skirts. I'm gonna do some measuring of the skirts for the girls who are over six feet tall. Um, if you are over six feet tall, it may not work well for you, but what you should be looking for are skirts that are like a gown length. If they have like a tail, that's perfect because you can always 
go ahead to your tailor and get it cut to where you want it to be at. I talk about making things work for our body. This is what I mean, right? Some of us cannot go ahead and just go buy a regular gown skirt. It has to have like some sort of tail and then the tailor can cut it to where we want it. And this is just so we're not, to be quite honest, so that we're not looking like every other tall girl. <laughs> That's just the reality. A lot of tall girls do dress alike and that is because they kind of all stick to the same brands and there's nothing wrong with that. It's hard to find stuff. Some of them have uh, longer legs, shorter torsos. Um, their torso may be long, but they're still a tall, tall woman, right? So just the struggle of trying to find things that are stylish to fit you is real, guys. My goal as a six foot tall woman is to show you ladies that we can just definitely get creative. I am no stranger to a tailor. You guys already know that. I don't care. If I want something, I will buy two of it and get my tailor to work her magic. I've always been like that since I was very young when I started going to a tailor. And when it comes to finding a good tailor, that's the hard part. You want to find one that listens to you and knows how to make things look good on you, all right? So the skirt is $2.55. It's like a copper color as well as the one from St. Laurent. It's not as, I don't want to say, because the one from St. Laurent has like little bit of texture to it a little bit it, it looks like it does because it is silk uh, but the colors are very very close and the lengths are very very close so again if you want to opt for something that is a lot cheaper but still very nice and stylish definitely go for it so when you do see it on me you're gonna see that it does kind of give me a shape I am NOT the biggest girl in the hips girls so I'm not the biggest girl in the hips but this skirt actually makes me look like I have a little shape. And I am attributing that to it kind of like being like a fishtail kind of, right? So it's like coming in here. So I did get a size large, which was a little tussle to get up, <laughs> but it was fine when I got it on. I think anything bigger might not work for me because I'm not big at the bottom. For a person who wears a typical large in the other satin skirts, which I have room, if you are a regular large and you have hips, you may want to size up, okay? When the other skirt comes, it does not have any elastic around the waist, so I'm hoping that it'll fit me as well. And I'll show you guys that when that comes, but again, this is a floor length gown skirt. And this is a really, really great dupe to the Saint Laurent satin floor length skirt, guys. When it comes to dupes and fakes, and I also spoke about this before. Dupes are great because you can still get really great quality. Let's think about purses. Bottega has a ton of bags, but there's a lot of designers who make similar bags to them that are really, really great. And I always talk about Monster Garviel. Their cloud bags looks, it's not exactly like the Bottega clutch, but it's a really, really nice bag. It's leather inside and outside. If you don't wanna spend thousands of dollars on something definitely still go for something in the dupe family or something that looks similar in style that is great quality so let me know what you guys think about this skirt I absolutely love it <laughs> um, it is 255 I'm gonna link it I'm actually gonna link the other skirt as well they are very similar in color but the styles are different cannot wait till the other one gets here guys if you are a tall girl and you are into floor length skirts where do you shop where do you get yours from or you haven't found any that actually fits you girls that do follow me thank you but there are a lot of girls out there who are tall who are kind of lost when it comes to like finding their personal style let me just say this a lot of influencers are short okay <laughs> and we we love the girls but the thing is like sometimes we can't even we can pull inspiration but if you try to recreate something that you saw someone else wear they're probably like five six and it's a lot easier for them to find these pieces and make it work for them so you and I have to buy things that work well with our actual frames our shoulders our leg length all that stuff dupes are always a good thing to always have in your wardrobe guys so if you are into those definitely check out the norma kamali skirt guys and i thank you guys for tuning into this quick 
little dupe to the Saint Laurent satin skirt, the Norma Kamali version, guys. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC and my style services coco styles and y.com and i'm on tickety tickety talk coco styles nyc and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys